Today we are going to meet the paintbrush. There are three main parts to every paintbrush. The long stick, usually made out of wood or plastic, is the handle. The hair at the top are is called the bristles and the part that joins the two together is called the ferrule. Usually the ferrule is made out of metal. So let's review the parts. What was the long stick called? And the hair at the end? and the metal part. And now we're ready to paint. While you're waiting for your paint, you can use your brush and practice imaginary lines. Once you have your cup of paint, dip your bristles into the paint and wipe any extra on the side of the cup. We're going to start by painting a straight line at the top of our paper. You'll notice the paint runs out pretty quickly. So you'll have to reload your brush and keep going. Sometimes I'll turn my brush over to the other side because there'll be paint on both sides of the brush. After my straight line, then I'm going to do a wiggly line. That paint keeps running out, so I keep dipping in because I like my lines to be solid black. So you're going to think about all the different lines that you know and start filling up the white paper with different lines. What's this line called? Yeah, a dashed line. You could even paint shapes. Here I'm using the side of the brush so it makes a thinner line. Try not to fill up your whole paper because we're going to switch to a different sized brush later. If I need to put my brush down, I'm going to put it on a paper towel, not on the table. Let's pause here so you can begin your painting. Now we're going to switch to our thin brush. All these areas that I've left open is where I'll be painting. Start out just like you did with the thick brush, making a long, thin line at the top of your paper. Just like with the other brush, you'll have to keep loading paint onto it. Here you can paint more detailed lines, like spirals. Loopy lines. short lines and my favorite crazy lines I can 
make symbols or letters. Small dots. Looking for all the white open spaces to paint in. This is interesting. I just press the brush down and the shape of the bristles makes an interesting mark. When you're done, place your paintbrush on the paper towel and admire your masterpiece.